Welcome back. If you're just joining us, today's boss lady is the owner and founder of NIBS, Lizzie Wanyoike. Over the number of years, the number of students' enrollment has increased gradually, as witnessed by Lizzie Wanyoike, who recalls her story of victory from resigning her job to becoming the owner of one renowned college. I remember that uh, I was very dedicated as a teacher. And I used to love my work, I used to love my, my students, those students out there who remember me, you know, they are now mothers. And some of them even maybe grandmothers, I don't know, because depending on when your children get married. But uh, I, they tell me that I used to, to, to mentor them so much. How, I don't know. But I think my, my upbringing had helped me because we are brought at a very heavy Christian background. So going to church, every Sunday, doing some concerts there and saying some poems and all that, I think has also give, given me uh, that kind of a background whereby I, you have to be a good girl, you are not to pray about the boys aimlessly, you are not to do this, you know. My, my, my mom would, if you are seen, me and my sisters, if you are seen somewhere talking to a, a boy, when you come home, she won't ask you, oh, but you'll be beaten. So they still that kind of fear, which uh, we could understand. You know, they're not telling you what is wrong with the boys. Yeah. There was no explanation. But when, so you know there's something wrong here. From, from high school, even when we were teenagers, we were not allowed yeah. at all, even yeah. to venture out so much into the, into the, into the other friends. So yeah. our parents were very strict, my mom especially. My dad was a leader, he was a very nice person. Actually, my dad is my role model as, as, of, as of today. He's late now, he passed on. So from there, I got this job and I did that job so well. And you know, at Temple, at Temple College. And this time, my salary was just going to the bank. I did not have to use my Your salary, money, uh -huh. my money at all. So I would go there, use some of it, buy a plot here. Those days, plots were 5,000, 3,000. You could buy a plot, which are going for millions now. So I was, I, then I realized after, you know, my husband did not really encourage me to do, but he didn't mind. But uh, what, what I, I, I didn't know why I, I'm buying these plots, uh, small ones and all that. And, and my, my husband, of course, was not so much of an investor. Mm -hmm. He was a politician. Mm -hmm. uh, he inside because at that time he was still a CEO of one of the parasitos in Kenya. Mm -hmm. uh, so I, the same time went on. My children grew big. I'm still there. I'm still mentoring this my students at at, at Temple College, mm -hmm. and uh, I was very good in my teaching. My students were passing very well. And then within, after several years, many years, uh, uh, something went wrong in, within my family. And uh, it just went, everything for, fell into pieces. We had, my husband, we had to, to separate for one reason or another. We know when you have politicians there, you, you know, and you don't understand politics, things may happen. So, it from was such a perfect family. Yes, it was, and it still is, mm -hmm. uh, because the breakup was there. That is a fact, and uh, not many people know that. Not many people up to date uh, know about my breakup. But it was such a turning point mm -hmm. in my life mm -hmm. because uh, the, my upbringing, nobody had prepared me for a breakup. A breakup. I have not known. Of I have known, known. Of it was never, never in my imagination. But uh, I think God was maybe nurturing me for something. I don't know. But um, my heart was always open. My, I would help people I even don't know. Uh, I think it's because I'd come from very poor background mm -hmm. into somewhere where I could understand the poor people yeah. uh, very well. I could understand them. So. I used to help a lot. Her separation was just the arc she needed to propel her to success. It was a turning point and the breakup was so bitter because I was bitter. And I just walked out. Do you know, I walked out in a big house, out of a big house. I left everything. 
everything. I did not take any clothes, I did not take any furniture, nothing. From that time, I just checked in a hostel. A hostel? A hostel. From y a mansion, y a mansion w to a y hostel. YWCA. It is still there. At her 40s, separated and devastated, definitely not the life she envisioned for herself. What was the genesis of Neebs? I'm a teacher. I can get, I can go back to teaching. I can do anything else. I'm still young. I was not that young. I was now in my late 40s this time, mm. late 40s. And that's why I tell ladies, you can start at any time and start afresh. Now, so what we thought, I said, me, I think I want to start my own institution because when I was running that institution, it was fun. It was good. I could see people getting jobs because I used to, you know, even I started uh, um, offering Kenya National Examination Council exams so that, and it was not done in any other institution. They were all giving pitmans those days so that they can get jobs in the government. So, so many people got jobs in the government. And I knew, no, I, I think I, I have to start my own. So I went to the bank. As I told you, I was saving. Went the plots, yeah. I sold, and uh, one of the one of the people who helped me in this uh, this particular point was James Mwangi of Equity, because mm -hmm. he was running a building society, mm -hmm. and uh, so I transferred my money into in the into there because he was the chairman of the committee that I formed. Somebody introduced me to him. He was the chairman of the committee that started Nairobi Institute of Business Studies. Mm -hmm. So from there, we, we, we decided I was sent, I was sent to, uh, to South Africa. We bought some computers. Before we did that, when I was in my other institution, I had gone there, even after I left home from the hostel, I had gone there to hand over. I said, I want to hand over. And when I was handing over, it was, I didn't know it would be so emotional. It was emotional. This was a temple. Yes, I went back. And uh, I, 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 I felt this is my last day here. So it was emotional because it had become part of me. It was part of me. But uh, I had to go. So we walked across with my friend. We walked across Temple College. You know it's on Tombaya Street. Walked to Moy Avenue. And, we, and there was Pioneer House building. Mm -hmm. Pioneer House, you know there was a bomb blast a few years back. So the, 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 it, was, it had space. So the first person we found them, we found there, we asked him, now, are these people renting uh, this space? Mm -hmm. And they said, I'm the agent. So he gave me a whole floor. And that was the first space you got for Nibs? Yes. That was the genesis of Nibs, registered as a college in 1999. And with the help of Mrs. Sylvia Tienu, Nibs got her first enrollment of students of only 25. So what I did, I took one of my nice photos. This time, my, this hair of mine can grow. My hair was up to here. And uh, I, was, I, I took one, and in fact, I have some copies. <laughs> I wish I had them there, I could show you. And I would put this in the national newspaper, the page for notices. Mm -hmm. You stop the after, just after the funeral mm -hmm. announcement. So people would go there. After and the see. obituaries. Obituaries. <laughs> <laughs> they would see me there. And of course, they'll get very curious. Then they would read the whole thing. I'm telling you, within a very short time, I registered 400 students. And those days, those are many. Looking at her office, I couldn't help but marvel at her achievements. I was being voted by people and uh, the, my fans. And it was, they, these people could not believe, who is this? Because we were nominated, and then I was just uh, sent a message, mm -hmm. and then we had to vote and vote, and we only vote once. You know, it's not like the ones where you people repeat, repeat them, no, yeah. once. So there were so many people who voted for this one. Did that shock you? Yeah, no, I'll tell you where the shock came in. <laughs> the shock came in because, you see, I, am, I thought I'm just known in Central. Uh, because most of the, 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 the invi invitations come from the, the Kikuyu community, the, yeah, the, the vernacular radios, the TVs, mm -hmm. so, like Inoro, mm -hmm. Kameme, 
all those ones, you know. So that's where I used to do most of my talk. When I was told about this uh, EY, you know EY is worldwide. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And when I was told about this, I, I, I could not believe it. I thought it was somebody who is just playing about with me. And then I thought, I was told, you know, it's real. Next week, we take a look at her projects in depth, the school and the hotel. Remember, for any contacts, compliment and queries, talk to us on the social media pages at Metropole TV KE. See you next week.